The City of Pompano Beach Cultural Arts Affair Department is relaunching its Artists in Residence program at the historic Bailey Contemporary Arts Center. Now, the program provides artists with studio space to create new work, collaborate with fellow resident artists, and engage with our community, of course. And artists Leonardo Montoya and Andy Ballantin are here to share what we can expect from the experience. Leonardo, Andy, welcome. Leonardo, you are known for portraying the uniqueness of people so they can relate and embrace diversity through your art. How are you able to do that? I guess it's um, part of uh, where I come from. Uh, Colombia is a very diverse country. So uh, then I moved to the United States, which is also very diverse. So it's just natural. It's very organic. It's your art imitating life, right? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Uh, all my inspiration comes from uh, portraiture and, and, and real life people uh, that inspires me. So yeah, absolutely. That's great. You know, what can we expect to see from you at your residence at the BACA? Well, I'm going to start as being artist of the month in October. So I'm going to have an exhibition upstairs with uh, most of my work. I'm also going to have a retail window for people to buy uh, women's purses and, and prints. And along the whole residence period, we have planned some workshops and some training for uh, to work with the community. Andy, you're known for your inquisitive approach to painting. How did you arrive at that aesthetic and what inspires you to create in that capacity? Well, um, I agree with you again. Um, I'm from Jamaica and Jamaica is a very bright, vibrant country. You know, a lot of sunshine, reggae music and stuff like that. So that is what inspired me and also the people of my country. So my, my exhibition at the artist of the residence is going to be November, the 1st of November. I'm going to kind of tie it with a lot of music, reggae music from my country, Latin music, you know, jazz, blues, you know it. So I just want people to come out, and that is the time of the Old Town Festival. And I want people to come out and see what Arts of the Residents, the Barker program, have to offer. Because they are offering some of the best artists you can, you're going to see at that time. We see the, the vibrancy of your art behind you. As you said, you're from Jamaica, which is a beautiful place. Just so much color, so much life there. For this, what will you be creating? Well, I'm going to create um, a lot of pieces signify um, a symbol of music, uh, like reggae music I was saying before. You know, jazz and blues, country and western, gospel, you name it. So the piece is going to be picked. That, that type of that, that, that type of setting with music. So you're gonna see cubism between music and you're gonna see also a lot of vibrant color, Jamaican color. Yeah, yeah. Leonardo, back to you. What makes the artists in residence program a must see for art lovers here in South Florida? Uh, and a resident for an artist is a, is a great opportunity to grow. So um, just uh, being in this uh, environment with uh, some other colleagues and artists, we're going to have the chance not only to create new artworks, but also to share with the community in an open studio sort of environment. Love that. Leonardo, Andy, congratulations on your incredible work. I see it right behind you, Leonardo, that's beautiful. Andy, like, as I said, so, so vibrant, and you guys are both immensely talented. Thank you for your time with us today on ISF. Thank you for having us.